Hey guys, this is Ed with CMC Reptiles. I want to do a quick video. Uh, well, right now, California's going through a pretty nasty heat wave. And having all these outdoor animals, I do get a little bit concerned. These guys right here, the red-eared sliders, I don't have to worry too much. Because all they have to do is jump in and uh, cool down. These ones, don't worry about so much as I do the rats and even the uh, sulcatas. Because right now it's about 108 degrees. We're about day five in over 100 degree temperatures. And you see right here the tortoises are hanging out in the shade. <laughs> and of course he thinks I have food. Um, but yeah, these guys wouldn't even come out of the garage for the last three days. I actually took them out today and cooled them down with some uh, water. Uh, Doritos actually over here, tucked into the shade. But these are desert tortoises, and even these guys don't want to be out in this extreme heat. They don't want nothing to do with it. So he stays tucked in here through the night. And I mean, it's almost like they instinctively, they know there's some ugly weather coming. And we've even had some crazy thunder and lightning storms here last couple of mornings. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be 112. Uh, Tuesday, 110. Wednesday, 107. So we're going to be in the hundreds probably for the next seven to ten days and we've already day five so it's almost two weeks straight and I know there's you know parts like Arizona they're used to this kind of heat and we get it quite a bit but not this many days in a row without cooling off. Nighttime temps have only been in the high 70s low 80s. I have to keep a real close eye on the rat room which is right there. So it's staying about 90 in the rat room with the air conditioner going and some circulation. Yeah guys, so over here with the uh, Central American Wood Turtles, I definitely have to spray these guys down during this heat wave. So I just hit the tree. So basically it just drips into the substrate rather than just soaking them make it look more like a natural rainfall which works best and it keeps it nice and cool in there but during these uh, extreme hot days like right now right now it's 106 degrees it's supposed to get to 110 so this definitely needs to be done three times a day and these guys stay nice and cool let's check them out so you see this guy right here, stays nice and wet. It's really nice and cool in there. There is another one, you can see the shell. So they bury pretty deep. This thing's pretty, pretty well soaked. There's this guy, but yeah, they're loving it. When you do this two, three times a day, I don't have to worry so much about these guys and the, and the heat because with this redwood tree keeping them cool and this nice thick substrate I have in here where they could burrow nice and deep to stay out of that hot weather right now there's not right now there's not much sun out because we do have that subtropical moisture spitting into California keeping the cloud cover in front of the sun it's not helping the heat much it's still 106 degrees but these guys are doing just fine you can see right there that's actually the newest male that I did a video on a couple weeks back and said some of the other ones are buried pretty deep but these guys are doing really good here's the red foot so even the red foot 
is right here. He even goes deep. Once they eat, they burrow, they get out of this hot weather. They'll come up a little bit during the evening. But it's around 3.30 in the afternoon right now, so this will be the last time I soak this for today. I don't want it too saturated. It'll dry up a little bit. But it'll stay nice and cool for them. Works out really, really well. And you can see these guys are just doing really, really good. These guys I don't have to worry about. They're inside. But I do do one thing different uh, for the Euromastics during these severe hot temperatures. The inside of my house gets to about 80 degrees. And so that means the inside of the cage gets a little bit hotter. So I switch out light bulbs. I go from a 150 to a 100. So the heat doesn't get too bad in here where the hot spot stays at about 135 because if you use the 150 during this heat, it'll get to 155, the hot spot. So it's important, like I said, we need to watch, I need to watch these guys during these uh, big temperature changes because we're at 20 degrees above normal right now. So that's a huge, huge uh, temperature increase. And it's, you know, for almost two weeks straight. So this is something I definitely have to keep an eye on, even for these uh, desert animals. So when it comes to the snake room, I really don't have to worry at all. These guys are just fine. They're in a controlled temperature room. It stays about 80, between 82 and 84 in here. I have air running in this room when needed. So the inside of this uh, reptile room with all the snakes, these guys are just fine. Now for the red eared sliders, like I said earlier, I don't have to worry too much about these guys because they actually love the heat and all they do is have to jump in the water to cool off. So this is like perfect weather for them. These guys adapt pretty much to any climate. That's why they thrive all over this country now. They're just everywhere. Every delta system and lake and pond and they're doing really well but during these hot times i like to give them a, some increase their protein a little bit so i'm going to leave two big tilapia fillets for them you can even see his shell is shedding a little bit let's see if i can see if he'll eat that he's getting the idea I'm not here to hurt them, just to feed them. If you don't hurry up and eat that, it's going to cook on that rock, because I'll tell you, it is freaking hot. Let's see, he'll take that in the water with his buddy, and <laughs> they'll both fight over it. And that's actually what they're doing. But I'll put this other fillet up here for him. I'll just hang that over the side. There he comes. He sees it. There he goes. There it goes. Boom. Gone. Hopefully this heat wave ends pretty soon because you can hear the sirens in the background. We got fires flaring up everywhere. You kind of see the weird tropical weather we got coming through here. A mixture of clouds and smoke. It get crazy. But yeah, spooky time for California. So we should get through this in a few days. Cool off by this time next week. We'll be back down in the 90s and have a bit a lot more cooler weather for uh, most of the bay area but I say just got to give that extra care for these animals and all these guys are doing real well all right guys i'll talk to you later